Well, genetic testing is actually a very easy thing to do. It's very easy to see if you have a BRCA1 or 2 mutation. It's a simple blood test. It's just a few vials of blood and it takes about three weeks to come back. Uh, what's difficult about the test is it's hard to know who needs it and it's not inexpensive. It's about three thousand dollars and some insurances pay, some insurances don't. Uh, so you really need to know that you're at high risk or that you need the test before you go out and have it. Right. You know, one of the first things I do when people come in, uh, I ask them about their family history. Do you have a first degree relative, you know, mother, daughter, sister, anybody who's had breast cancer? We look at their ethnicity as well. People who are of Ashkenazi Jewish descent are at incredibly high risk of having the gene. People of Scandinavian descent also are more likely to have the gene. But it can pop up in absolutely anyone. So we really rely a lot on family history uh, of breast cancer or ovarian cancer in the family to decide who really should be, should be tested. At that point, I send to a genetic counselor. They do more in-depth questions. Um, and then finally, they can refer you for the test. The test is very reliable. Um, you either have a positive or a negative. A very small number of people end up with ambivalent results. I think the harder aspect of the test is what to do after. You know, if you find out that you don't have the gene, well then great. You might still be at a high risk of breast cancer, but you're not in that tremendously high risk. Angelina Jolie, I mean, I guess based on her genetics and maybe some other family history factors that we might not know, her doctors thought she had an 87% lifetime risk of getting breast cancer. She clearly decided to be proactive rather than reactive, and she took this drastic measure of a double mastectomy to lower her risk. Uh, she says she now has a 5% lifetime risk of having breast cancer. Uh, so these are, that's one thing you can do. But a lot of people, in fact most people who test positive for the BRCA mutations don't have a double mastectomy. They opt instead for just very, very close surveillance. They'll have an ultrasound or mammogram or MRI on a regular basis, even every six months or so, so that if they do develop breast cancer, it can be treated early when it's most curable. I think there are people for whom the test is less urgent. Uh, if you have no breast cancer in your family history and your behaviors don't necessarily raise your risk of breast cancer, or uh, there are people who, for whom it's not necessary, although just last month the Supreme Court uh, actually started to hear an argument about whether or not the patent should be lifted on the test to make it more affordable. I do think once it's more affordable, more people will get it, uh, and that can be a good thing.